These European projects allow us, let's say, to create some value by turning research ideas essentially to products. It's important to, to, to look beyond borders, yeah? to, to, to see what other people are doing in Europe. I mean, we live in a globalized world, so it's important to, to collaborate with, with people outside of your, of your own you know, uh, circle of, of comfort. I think it's a great opportunity to actually collaborate with our uh, counterparts and counter, uh, other partners within European Commission and a lot of uh, universities as well as industrial partners. So we get a chance to actually understand the other side of the story as well. And it gives a good perspective because personally I'm from a university. So if we are just left to do research on our own, then sometimes we go too far-fetched in our research area. So keeping in touch with the industry really gives a good direction to our research. There are several reasons. I mean, first of all, it's the collaboration with other people, other research center, industry, and university. And um, second of all, or maybe most important of all, it's a, it's a very important source of funding for our research center. For, um, let's say, a small country like, Por like Portugal, uh, I think it's imp very important to have people involved in these uh, European scale projects because give us dimension and impact at European level. It is very important to, to have a, a voice uh, at European level. One of the added values for, of these projects and one of the assets of Europe is also people. You know, we need to have quality and well-trained people in order you know, to justify our higher costs compared to other areas of the world. And this is an instrument for doing this. Especially in big companies, I, I have to admit that the feel that these type of projects, collaborations with universities, is very, very valuable. I have to emphasize it is very valuable because when they, they, fo when they are focused on something, internal projects, they are focused on what they, they want to do, what they want to sell, and that, that somehow is influenced by the business model of the company. But if we really, really want to innovate, Something we need to have like a wide, wide, air, uh, wide area of vision. This is a very good platform because all key uh, players in this uh, consortium-based European consortium-based research they are usually present here. So it's a good idea to share with them what we are doing and what we have achieved so far. We have uh, several uh, presentations in, in scientific. Uh, uh, sessions for posters, but uh, I think most important is actually to have an exhibition here, uh, the Discogue U exhibition with several demonstrators, where actually you can uh, share ideas with other researchers and uh, people from the community, even from industry, uh, and get this feedback. So generally the way we work is when we have some idea, we want to also show it in practice. That's why we have, that's why we have this platform, that's why we have open air interface. So we implement our ideas on open air interface and then we, we, you can actually see and touch those things and it's not just uh, paperwork um, that, uh, that's very abstract. It is a multifaceted uh, conference and therefore I think it's kind of unique in its uh, field uh, worldwide uh, because you can find academic people, you can find important industry people and you can see the outcome of the work. Uh, as prototypes, as algorithms, as uh, signaling interfaces, as whatever. And I think in this respect it is uh, unique. We all like to use our mobile phones. Uh, we all like to watch videos on our mobile phones. And that, that puts us a very high demand on the network, on the, on the radio access. So there's um, still things, um, we can still squeeze out um, more bits, bits per second per hertz out of the system. Um, so any new technologies like like cooperative, cooperation, cooperative multipoint, um, dense networks, massive MIMO, um, all those are topics that I think are, are hot and that uh, that uh, we should invest in the future.